Hey, it's Alina Wilson from Exact Me Mastery with today's Tuesday Tech Tip. And what I'd like to cover today is how to make changes to either a whole folder in your grouping tree in Xactimate or maybe just a couple line items that you want to remove sales tax from or add OMP or something like that. So let's go ahead and just take a look at this commercial folder that I have built. And this is one application that I use over and over again uh, in the commercial world is to remove overhead and profit from your temporary repairs folder. A lot of adjusters ask me to do that. And I'll make the changes using what's called the Global Changes Wizard, which is a fun name there. So let me show you how this works. I want this whole folder to not have ONP applied. Uh, adjuster has just asked me to do that. They have their own reasons. And, you know, he's being a pretty, pretty cool guy. He's allowing for a lot of these items that some of the adjusters, you know, uh, ask me to remove. So I... Removing overhead and profit from the folder is actually a better deal than him removing some of the line items he might have asked me to remove. So I try to play ball as much as I can here. And today we're just going to go ahead and remove that overhead and profit from the temporary repairs folder. So I'm going to right click, go to global changes. Make changes to is where you want to be. So we're going to drop down this list here. And we're going to taxes, O&P, or repaired. And here you can see you've got plenty of options. I've got the ONP or non-ONP. So maybe he told me to go ahead and turn the ONP back on. That's fine. I could do that here as well. So either one that I choose, it will apply to the whole folder. So I can go ahead and choose non-ONP, left-click OK, and that change can be made. Let's say that I wanted to remove sales tax from a line item for whatever reason, or several line items. I could select the line item that has the sales tax. I'm just going to take my shingles, for instance. Use my control key. I could hold down the control key and then left click on anything that has sales tax I want to remove. And then right click, go to global changes, and then make it tax exempt, just like this. And it'll tell me those changes have been made, and that's absolutely perfect. There's many options in Global Changes Wizard that are useful to you. The, the two main ones are the ONP and the taxes that I use quite often. But you can also do things like factor in different percentages if you needed to for, let's say you're in Texas and your labor prices have risen. You could use the install only um, and factor your pricing, factor a new percentage increase in pricing. You can also make changes to coverage. So let's say that I had a dwelling roof and then a garage roof. If you've ever seen an estimate that has the dwelling portion separated out in a different summary page than the other structures, that is what they're doing. They're making changes to the coverage and they are you know, separating it out here by folder by applying the global changes wizard. So if you want to have that other structure show up, that's another reason you could make the global change. So that will put everything from that folder into a different summary page at the end of your estimate. So there's quite a few options there. Go ahead and check them out and let me know in the comments below what you think. If you'd like to have Tuesday Tech Tips delivered right into your inbox, go ahead and go to my website at www.xm8mastery.com and subscribe for the weekly tech tips. We'll see you next week.